Hi right, everybody, Ty from Fuel Systems Research and Development. This is like take six. So if my video is a little shaky, that's why I'm holding this phone up for too long. Um, first, I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all those of you who have joined my Facebook page. Uh, we have quite a movement going on there. There's a lot of people getting involved, building fuel vaporization systems, sharing info on other things that they've seen or come across or done like wood gasification systems and other ways of boosting fuel mileage or running your car off of different types of fuels or in different ways and not even just cars but whatever um so the facebook page the fuel systems research and development is for more than just fuel vaporization systems you know whatever you guys do that helps increase fuel mileage or that's a different way to run an engine on on you know in, in a different manner or whatever else it is it doesn't have to do with the engines um, share what share what you're doing share your ideas share share your research and your knowledge because it all helps um, there's been you know a lot of involvement on that Facebook page and I want to say thank you to everybody that's participating uh, you guys are awesome and keep spreading the word because we're, we're we are growing and we're getting more and more people every day that are joining our group and we are only going to succeed as a group so the more that join the better because the more knowledge we have that way and knowledge is power and we want to give the power to the people so I wanted to let you guys know those of you who have been on Facebook um, know that I was going to be doing a uh, test with acetone again to see if that increases fuel mileage and I was able to do that on my trip to California I I used four um, tanks of gas with acetone and um, a few a few tanks without it but that's just a crappy way to try to get good data um, I'm not going on the same train all the time the train goes from flat to hilly to mountain train and I'm not driving the same stretch of road the wind is different so it's a horrible way to do it um, I wanted to test it anyway just to see if there was an improvement at all and there was a little bit of a gain but I'm not sure what the percentage was because I didn't have good data so um, I got anywhere from 10 miles per gallon up to 18 miles per gallon running my car like normal with acetone I got from 15 up to just over 20 miles per gallon so, like I said, it's crappy data. I'm not even going to do the video on that because it's, it's not worth it. Um, I'll redo the test using the same strip of land, the same direction both times, and calculate the mileage traveled per, let's say, gallon of gas with acetone and without. And I'll do it that way. So um, that way I can have good data, and that's really the only way to get good data. It should drive the same stretch of road, the same direction, both times that you do the tests. Um, I wanted to share another thing with you guys. I was finally able to get a hold of my old neighbor down in Arizona that had shared his um, story with me of the vehicle that he had, the, the vaporizer that he had made to get his vehicle to get really high mileage. And that's where the inspiration came from, is from him when I was just a teenager, I don't know what, what age I was, he had shared the story with me where he had the vehicle that he was, that he, he designed a vapor carb for it, and they got, I don't know the exact mileage, but I think it was somewhere in like the 200 miles per gallon or 150 miles per gallon range, something like that, but the way that he did it is just awesome. I, I don't know why I haven't thought about doing it the way that he did, but I haven't, and I'll just check this. All right. Um, yeah, it was. He had some really, really good ideas in the way that he did it. And what he told me is that once his system got up to temperature, then it would run flawlessly, which makes sense because when I had done those runs with my fuel vaporizer, um, when it was running on the hot vapor, not the cold vapor, it would run flawlessly when everything was, you know, at the right temperature. And I could accelerate, um, 
with no problem. I mean, I could punch on the gas when I was doing that and it would take off like that. It seemed to have a little bit better response time. And I got the high mileage. And when I was explaining the way that I did it to him, he, you know, he was just extremely happy because the, uh, the effects are similar to, that, that I had are similar to the, the effects that he had when he did his. And the way that he brought the vapor to the engine um, is so awesome. And I'll share that, guy, that with you in a different video. But um, it's, it's a great way to do it. It's actually a way to get more, a perfect mixture every time. Um, so, thank you. You know who you are, neighbor, for sharing that with me. But another awesome thing that they shared with me is there was a guy that they were involved with that had designed, and, and he was a genius, that had built a perpetual motion device. Produced electricity, you could self-loop it basically and produce more power out than you would get in. And then he actually lived off of the... Uh, he, he lived off of the grid for three years with that machine, three plus years. And they were in the process of building a community in the area that I lived in, and I didn't even know that. Um, and building a community off-grid using this, this device, this perpetual motion device that, that was developed. And they were shut down when they were doing it. Um, the inventor of this device was actually visited by what some people know as the men in black. Basically the people that are going to shut you down um, when something like that comes out. And he didn't stop there, if I'm getting the story completely right. I may be off on a few things. But he didn't stop there and later on he, they tried to kill him and he was poisoned. He ended up having a heart attack from that. But he lived through it. He didn't die from it. And after that, he stopped what he was doing. He didn't continue on with it. Um, and that would be hard to do. It would be hard to continue on with something like that after you have been threatened and you did it anyway and then they tried to kill you but they weren't successful at it. So, that guy is still alive from what I understand to this day. But he's no longer using anything that he had done because of what had gone on. And it's pretty sad, but the good news is um, my neighbor, one of the people that they um, he had given the plans to was them. It was the manuscript to this whole system. But the guy was a genius and he encoded everything in, um, in his manuscript before he wrote it and then wrote the manuscript after he had all of the, the uh, basically the ways to put everything together um, uh, to decode it that would make it so everything would work right so they have the manuscript if you were to get it and read it for instance and build everything the way that you see it in the manuscript it wouldn't work right because there's other information that's hidden in the manuscript that you would have to decode or figure out in order to get everything working in the proper manner so they have the manuscript if I'm able to get it from them, I will make a PDF file of it and I will blast it all over the internet. And if that time comes, then you guys need to share it like wildfire because it would be an important piece of information. They saw it running for themselves and they are honest people, very honest people. And I have full faith and trust in them and in what they're saying. So. Um, couple little tidbits that I wanted to share with you guys. This is Ty from Fuel Systems Research and Development. Thank you guys for following my work. Thank you for following the work of everyone else that, that is participating. Thank you for sharing the information that you have, for sharing the research that you come across. Um, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the Facebook page because there's a good movement going on there and we've got gotten a lot more people involved that are actually doing stuff. So thanks. Peace out. Tyson. Later.